Hundreds of CIOs and IT types gathered in Darling Harbour this week for Gartner's annual IT Expo. On the opening day, delegates packed the main auditorium and were treated to a mastermind keynote from Telstra CEO David Thody. It turns out that a mastermind keynote means that instead of speaking to the audience, the speaker gets to sit on a couch and have a nice chat with some friendly analysts. Also, it means you don't have to say anything interesting. So he didn't. You couldn't swing a cat without hitting at least five CIOs, so we found out what was rocking their worlds. First up was Neil Philander from the Queensland University of Technology, who was looking for a super programmer. There was a lot of research done which indicated that the performance of the super programmer, so called, to the, to the, to the basic nerd, was about a thousand to one. Right. One super programmer better than a thousand nerds? Where does one find one of these? Well, it seems you don't find them, you grow them. I've hired 60 students yeah. in the last decade, and they're, they're the technical brains trust yeah. in my department now. Right. If I can get them into a doctorate program, I've got them forever. <laughs> <laughs> the CIOs chatted and laughed about many different subjects, but one that had them all disagreeing was Windows 7. Alan Hesketh from the New Zealand Ministry of Health thinks Windows 7 is a low priority. I mean, we're much more interested in virtualization of the desktop yeah. um, than we are in 7. But it turns out that Microsoft's clever licensing policy means he may have to upgrade to Windows 7 whether he likes it or not. A lot of our Windows license have been OEM purchases um, which under Microsoft's licensing regulations are not transferable yeah. into a virtualized environment. So we're going to have to rebuy, which means we may well um, go to 7 at that point. Peter Nicolaitis from Curtin University will welcome Windows 7 with open arms. From a Curtin perspective, we're actually going to save money by going down this path. But a few seconds later, Peter was forecasting the end of Windows as we know it. I actually think Windows 7 is probably going to be the last full-blown operating system we'll ever see from Microsoft. We'll start to see very thin versions of that going forward with a VDI-type model in mind. Yes, we can only hope so. There'll be more coverage from the Gartner IT Expo next week as soon as the Cruncher's feeble computer finishes rendering all the video. What we need is something a little more powerful. Something like this. This is Vayu, Australia's fastest supercomputer. It has 3,064-bit Intel processors, 36 terabytes of memory, and can perform 140 trillion floating point operations per second. David Singleton, systems manager of the NCI facility, explained what makes a supercomputer Super. You can have all those CPUs sitting there, if they can't talk to each other, yeah. they're just a bunch of CPUs. So we have the latest QDR, quad data rate network, yeah. 40 gigabits a second network transfers. Everything can talk to everything, there isn't a bottleneck anywhere. Well, Vayu didn't have time to render our Gartner videos. Unfortunately, it was far too busy doing things like modelling climate change. Thanks, Moon. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching.